What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH and in this video we're going to cover the application called Cloud Panel using Cloudflare tunnels to be able to access your websites from anywhere in the world or host them for other individuals. Now as you can see we can create WordPress sites, PHP sites, Node.js, static HTML, Python, and even create a reverse proxy within our Cloudflare panel to control our websites. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so what are you going to need for this tutorial to be able to host your own websites? Well, you're going to need a Cloudflare account as well as a domain name attached to your Cloudflare account. So we can then forward our request from the public internet to our private cloud panel server to be able to then access our websites as well as a virtualization platform like Proxmox so we can create a Cloudflare tunnel virtual machine or container as well as a cloud panel virtual machine and or, and or container as well as something like OpenSense or a router that allows you to create custom entries into your DNS so you can resolve your Cloudflare panel locally. So we can then edit those files that everyone's accessing from the public internet via our domain name on Cloudflare. So the first step we're going to do is create a virtual machine on Proxmox and that machine will require at least one core, two gigs of RAM, but I would say do at least two cores and four gigs of RAM. So you have a reliable machine. So we're just going to go up to the top, create a virtual machine, name this cloud panel video. The OS will be our Ubuntu server, just like this system. We're going to leave 32 gigs as an example video two cores and then 4096 I guess is what I will do for the RAM network leave the same finish let this virtual machine install and we will get on with the rest of this video okay so I just finished setting up the cloud panel and the cloud flare tunnel virtual machines so I'm going to do cmd I'm going to open this up and we're going to SSH into this machine so we can copy and paste command. So SSH at the username you set at the IP address. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and update our machine, upgrade all those things, and then install the curl w get command. Just like so, type in our password and let all this information or all these packages, I should say, install. And then we're going to go ahead and curl the SSH or the installer for Cloud Panel. Okay, so after we've verified everything is installed, again, we're just going to grab the Cloud Panel installer and click enter and allow our Cloud Panel to install. Okay, so we can see our installation is complete. So we're going to put in the virtual machine IP address plus port 8443 in our browser. So just like this, HTTPS 148 port 8443, click advanced and proceed. And here you are. So go ahead and create your admin user and log in to the site right now. And then we're going to go ahead and log in. And now we're logged in. So we would just go ahead and click add site. And then you can create any type of site that you want. In the case of this tutorial, we are going to create a WordPress site. And then go ahead and give your WordPress site any domain name, right? This could be the exact same domain name of your Cloudflare tunnel URL. So we are going to go ahead and use that. And then the site title, that'll be default in WordPress. So we're just going to do LTH YT WordPress video example, just like that. And then we can see we get a site user, a site user password, an admin user, an admin user password, and then the email. And so you can, you know, go ahead and copy this 
or take a screenshot of this, but we'll be able to grab these credentials here in just a second. So we're gonna go ahead and click create. And like I was saying, here is all the credentials. So go ahead and copy these. They will not be shown to you again. So make sure that you write these down. So let me go in here and then we'll click back to sites. And now we have our site right here. So if we want to access this site, we're gonna put in the IP address of our virtual machine. But instead of the Cloudflare dashboard, we will do the one for WordPress. So the next step we're gonna do is going to be the settings in our Cloudflare uh, account. And so once you are in your Cloudflare account, log in, select the zero trust on the far left side, just like so. Select networks, tunnels, and then under tunnels, we're going to create a new tunnel or add a new tunnel and then select a Cloudflare tunnel. Name your tunnel to whatever you want. So we'll do Cloud Panel YouTube Video. And then click Save Tunnel. Okay, and so then the next step is we're gonna click Debian because we're on a Debian server. We are 64 bit. We're gonna click this command, install it on our Cloudflare Tunnels virtual machine. It's gonna ask for our password for this installation. And then after that's been downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and grab this little uh, Cloudflare service installer for our specific account. Click enter and let this download. And then once this has been downloaded, we'll go back over to our machine and we'll ensure we have a connection down here in our connectors and we do. So we're going to click next and here we need to add the subdomain of our domain. So we're using this lthyoutube.com domain name and we will do uh, WordPress, right? For our website, as an example, it will be HTTPS like so, and then the URL. Okay, so for this box, like it shows example localhost, but it's actually going to be the IP address of our cloud panel virtual machine, okay? So our Cloudflare tunnel connects into our environment via our Cloudflare virtual machine, and then we're saying, hey, through this tunnel, look for the IP address of our Cloudflare panel virtual machine, because that's where the website's being hosted and then connect to that WordPress site over a specific port. And in this case, that would be 443. So let's do that right now. And this machine for our Cloudflare panel is hosted at 148. So 192.168.50.148443, just like that. And now we need to add some additional settings. So under TLS, we need to do the hosting that Cloudflare should expect from your origin server certificate. So that is going to be the fully qualified domain, don, domain name of your WordPress site or other site depending on your box. And a fully qualified domain name is the domain name dot the TLD. Example, in our case, would be wordpress.lthyt.com. So you're not adding the HTTPS or the port onto the ports onto the end. lthyt.com. So that is a fully qualified domain name, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna enable no TLS verify. And what this means is although our, we have self-signed certificates essentially, so the certificate between the domain name and the tunnel and the self-signed certificate on the cloud panel machine don't all necessarily match up, but they all guarantee encryption. So we're just telling this that, hey, we're using self-signed certificates. You don't need to verify them. We know they're trusted because we are the ones who installed it 
ourselves, okay? And then we're going to click Complete Setup, just like so. Okay, so if I go to the website wordpress.lthyt.com, we can now see that our website is being hosted, we can access it, and it shows encrypted, but we have an issue here. Anybody could access the WordPress admin panel if they so choose. So if I do wordpress-admin and I click enter, anyone on the public internet can now access this page and if you don't have a strong password, potentially brute force this or get in, delete, and edit your website. In the case of Cloud Panel, we do get very strong randomized passwords by default, which was that copy and paste site information I showed you or you guys saw earlier in the video. And that admin password was probably 20 characters long and very complex. So if I just type in my admin and I just grab this super complex password. We can see it's very long, it continues over. Um, I'll click remember me and we can log in. So there may be a small chance and you may need people to be able to publicly access this website from the public side of the internet and configure it via the admin panel. But if you don't want that to be the case and you only want to be able to edit this panel via the private internet or your local internet where you are connected to this virtual machine, I'm going to show you how to do that now and this part of the video. So what we need to do is click manage next to our WordPress site on our cloud panel. And then on here, we need to go to the, the host tab and we need to add some commands in here for our Nginx server to use. So if we scroll down till we find this uh, block of commands or codes or uh, you know whatever you want to call it, um, not elements, but <laughs> why am I drawing a blank? <laughs> whatever, this section of um, entries and we need to add some commands. So adding these rules will offer local network access to the forward slash WP admin page and then anyone who accesses it via the public internet will get a 403 forbidden error. So the rules to add will be once again linked on our website, but we're gonna add them in here, right below the restricted access area. So if I go enter and I do control V, I'll get rid of this space. We can see what I've added right here. And so these commands read from top down. So location, WordPress admin or WordPress dash login, restricted area, deny anyone at 192.168.1.0 slash 32. This will set your Cloudflare, set to your Cloudflare VM container tunnel IP. So we need to change this dot zero to our Cloudflare tunnels IP address. And so if I go over here and I just type IP A, I need to set that to dot 60. And this will allow our Cloudflare tunnel to still access the, or to not be able to access the WordPress admin login page. So we're saying, hey, any requests that come from our Cloudflare tunnels virtual machines IP address, block them because all the public internet connections to our domain name will be coming in through our Cloudflare tunnel and requesting our website information, but they will not be able to request our website information specifically for these directories. And now we're saying allow anything within our local LAN connection to connect to the WordPress admin website. In my case, it's 50.0, yours might be .1, .10, whatever, so make sure this third octet is set to whatever your local uh, network's IP address range is, and then allow anything on 127, which is the local host of this Cloudflare panel, and then for any criteria that don't meet these rules, deny them, deny everyone else, okay? And so now we are going to close down to the bottom, click save, go to our cloud our cloud panel virtual machine and just restart our Nginx server. And I will restart 
the Nginx server. Okay, and so now after I just reloaded the website, we can see now that I'm getting a 403 forbidden error. I can no longer access WordPress admin, okay? And that's what we want. So now we know any connections from the public internet cannot access the page to edit our WordPress site. But how do we access our WordPress site because we're local? We are going to have to set up a local um, domain name like override in our OpenSense machine. So once you've logged into OpenSense, just go ahead and click your services tab, unbound DNS and overrides right down here. And then you can see that we need to do something very similar to this entry right here, which would give us access to our WordPress dashboard. So I'm gonna just go ahead and clone this and open this up to show you, but it will be lthyt.com, so wordpress.com, lthyt.com, and then the IP address, okay? And so the IP address for this machine will be um, the cloud panel IP address, okay? So set, have all your settings set just like this, your domain name, the IP address of your Cloudflare machine, this star for any host within the local network, have it be enabled, and then a description for your site, click apply, and now you can go and attempt to access this web page right here. And now we can see that it shows not secure. Why is it showing not secure? Because now we're no longer accessing the website through the Cloudflare tunnel and the public internet. But when we do a request out to this website, our unbound DNS at our firewall stops it and says, hey, just locally resolve to our Cloudflare panel service and not go out to the internet. So before we've already guaranteed that it is secure, but we are accessing it locally. And that's just why you see this unsecured error. And now if we do wp-admin and we click enter, we can now get to the configuration panel again. So there you go, that's how you do it. This allows you to host websites locally, to be able to edit them locally, but not the public internet, but people on the public internet just to be able to access the actual WordPress site itself while protecting your backend. I hope that makes sense. My name is Abe, signing off with another video.